Hey everyone, welcome back to this special episode of Tools of the Trade, where we're talking about a very, very important tool on the farm and the automated greenhouse controller. We're working this series with a company that I really like, Orisha. They've developed a, an automated greenhouse controller and a software that allows you to manage all the different parameters of your greenhouse within the palm of your hand using an iPhone. We'll explore specifically their system in the third episode of this series, but today we want to go over uh, two important key features that you want to be controlling in your greenhouses, which are humidity and irrigation. The ideal growing condition for most plants comes with a humidity factor also. Uh, when there's not enough humidity in a room, plants won't be able to really transpire and get the photosynthesis that they need. They won't be able to really take the water from the ground that they'll need to grow. And if there's too much humidity, then it creates condition where a lot of diseases can quickly develop and quickly evolve. So the sweet spot in managing your humidity is really important for growth and to counterbalance uh, a lot of the dampness and the fungal and the bacterial diseases that can develop otherwise. These are the problems that most greenhouse growers face uh, because they become rapidly rampant and they take over the crop. The classic way of dehumidifying a greenhouse is to open the roll-ups really early in the morning and bring some heat. And that pushes out the humidity that has developed over the night. That's one way to dehumidify, but that cycle can be done at different, different time of the day according to outside temperature and according to the overall humidity that's present in your greenhouses. So, there's ways to get the humidity out, but it becomes a real management chore to do it the right way with the right amount of heat, the right amount of opening, and at the right time of the day. And that's where having a climate controller really makes this really effortless and a lot more optimal. The climate controller will have a sensor that will read the humidity temperatures of the greenhouse and then will activate the proper combination of heat and ventilation to reduce it or to increase it depending on where you're at. If we're talking about irrigation, irrigation is more obvious for a lot of growers. Obviously, all the different plants at their different stage will require a different amount of water. When we're watering in greenhouses, we'll rely on small sprinkler systems or more often than not, we'll run drip tapes. And the way to really optimize your irrigation is to have cycles. So you want a fraction the amount of water that you're putting in the different plants at different time of the day, according to outside temperature, according to light, and according to what stage of growth is at the plant at. And because we're growing different plants in different greenhouses, or perhaps more than one plant in the same greenhouses, it becomes really complicated to manage all these set points for these different plants with all these different watering systems. That's where the climate controller really becomes more than handy because you can set it up with different zones, with different set points, with different cycles per zone in a given day according to is it warm outside, is it sunny, is it not. 
and that makes the whole of difference not only for the quality of the plant but also for your you know mental state because it becomes like a mind softener or you know it avoids you becoming crazy managing all these different set points all these these different zones it becomes too much information to manage to do it correctly so all in all there's a lot of good reasons why you want to manage optimally the different components of your greenhouse that's where the climate controller becomes your best friend and that's the reason why you really want to have one for the farm and ideally one that is really cutting edge with great technology with great after service it, it needs to be a helper for you on the farm and that's the reason why i've been working with this company that's been working here in canada developing this software orisha and in this third video we'll be talking specifically about this climate controller looking at its feature going in details and we'll be exploring these features with Vince uh, that was trained here at FQT Farm that's been using it for the last year. He was new to all of this, so he learned how to grow greenhouse tomatoes with the climate controller. And we'll be exploring all these features together with him in this next video. So, see you there. So that's it everyone for this video on automation for greenhouses and remember, even if this is new for you or you think this is this is way out of my league it's not automation for greenhouse is where it's at and again it's all about finding solutions quick fix to help just alleviate the mental load and, and automation and a controller like orisha is really good for that so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos uh, sharing content about what can really help you out there and don't forget the masterclass, the online course that I teach, the enrollment is open for the next two days. So if you want to join this cohort, be part of the community, now's your time. Check it out. All the information is on the link below. If there's anything, I'll see you next week, friends. JM out.